I have found this one missing piece that has been so telling of the root of all results, whether that's you're trying to lose weight, whether that's trying to have more finances, or whether that's trying to have more success in your relationship. It was really pivotal when I found this in my life, especially when you work so hard as a high achiever towards something and you're like, man, I just feel like there's something that's like, I'm reaching for the book and this book just keeps getting pushed further and further back. No matter how much effort and work I'm putting into it, it feels like I'm getting further from my goal. So if you relate to this, this is gonna be a wonderful topic for you today. So what I realized is that we get this goal So let's just, for example, let's just say goals, weight loss, okay? And we know that there's tools for weight loss. So we know that there's going to be need to have a nutrition or a diet plan implemented, and then there's going to need to be workouts. Those are the tools. So if you think of it as like a pyramid setup, right? So we're at the very top. We got the goal. Underneath that is going to be the tools. Well, underneath that, what is this principle? What's this core thing that we're gonna need in order for the tools to work, in order for the goal to be the outcome we want. It was the motivation. So, so many women will, or men, you will say like, I'm just not consistent, or maybe I don't have the habit in place, or maybe it's, um, it's just this consistency that's just, I'm not, I'm not being able to get into. So I had a perfect example of a woman came to me today and she goes, Danita, I need to have a kick in my pants to get in shape. And I was like, okay, so what is it you feel like you need? And she goes, well, if I just get on a diet plan and a workout regimen, you just give me that and I'll follow it. And I just, I've been around that block way too many times to know, well, how long do you stay on to something that's so regimen, so rigid, eventually you get overwhelmed, it's not doable, so then you fall off and then you're back to square one. It's like the pattern we really truly get stuck in. And I thought, no, like let's, let's go a little deeper with this. I really wanna like get to the bottom of this. And I go, so if you have this, paint this picture out for me, like what type of equipment do you have at home? Danita, I've got a row machine, I got a treadmill, I got all the equipment from you, I've got some inner thigh blaster, I've got like, I mean, hundreds and thousands of dollars at my at-home gym. I was like, got it. And there's dust all over them, isn't there? Yes, there's dust all over them, okay. And then as far as diet, like tell me about what you know about diet. I've tried every diet plan. I absolutely know every single thing from calories in, calories out, to macros, to uh, protein this, to fats that. I mean, literally she just went on and on and on about all the different diets that she's tried, okay. So I was like, all right, so then you have all the stuff, you have all the tools, you have all the things that you need for this diet and the workouts to create your goal. Well, what's stopping you? Like what's keeping you from actually utilizing the tools? And she goes, well, if you imagine like one side of my shoulder is telling me to just do it, but then the other side is I'm not in the mood. Okay, just do it. You've got all the equipment, it's right there, but then... I'm this couch potato and I'm not in the mood. I've lost this motivation. And so what I say is that is a perfect example of out of alignment. And if you're feeling out of alignment, what I've noticed is that there is this polarity, dichotomy, separating yourself and your thoughts and you're always like beating and trying to counteract these thoughts, war against themselves, which drains our energy. And that's the next thing I hear is I just don't have any energy. I don't have any time. Well, yeah, because you're, you're over here running marathons in your own head. No wonder. Makes a lot of sense. There's not an alignment to make a sense of ease or flow to, happen, ha- to have things happen more effortless. And again, this applies to whether it's finances, whether it's relationship or whatever. Anything that is conflicting or causing resistance into our own mind Well, that would be the reason why we feel like we're not having this time or energy to reach our goals. So um, she goes, well, then I need to know, like when you, when you say, Danita, how I'm supposed to obviously get in the mood, get my motivation back, get in my alignment, how, how do I do that? And I go, well, you know, I am a little bit different because I have tried everything underneath the sun. I'm a journal writer, and then I was in say affirmations to the mirror, and then I was meditative, you know, and I'm not trying to say these things with like a, 
a bad taste in my mouth. I do believe that those are, are very important, but for me, they only worked for me in like five minutes. It was like when I was meditating, I was in my alignment. When I was journal writing, I was in my alignment. When I was tapping myself for my vagus nerve, okay, I'd get into alignment. But then as soon as I stopped those things is when I felt back into the chaos. And so my question was, how do you bridge the gap on having motivation alignment all the time so that you can live this more effortless the roots of the results, the outcome is more simple, and that this one thing can truly transform us. Because we know that we live neurological pathways. We know that our thoughts connect to our feelings and that our feelings drive all of our actions and our actions are all of our outcome. We already know the subconscious, but how do we utilize the subconscious on our side So that instead of only 5% of us trying to reach a goal, we got the whole 95% of us. So here was my, here was my secret. The first step is you want to start from the root and the root is going to be your thoughts. Now I'll go into a whole other topic on this another time about third dimension, fourth dimension, and how our thoughts are really creating and materializing our third dimension world. We'll go into that another time. But we know that thoughts are powerful. Like if they are literally frequency that is materializing our reality, well then we gotta be really careful with what our thoughts are. So the first place I want us to really think about is a self-assessment, like an evaluation on yourself. And if you have a pen and paper, this is going to be a very interactive podcast right now. I want you to pause me right now, grab a pen and paper, and I want you to really rate yourself on these beliefs. How would you rate yourself on a 1 to 10 scale, 10 is the highest, 1 is the lowest, on I can set healthy boundaries? How would you rate yourself on I am good enough? I matter. I am important. I am happy. I'm free. I'm worthy. I am in alignment with my potential. I am accepted. I am loved. And you really want the honest answers. That's what's going to give you the best results. Because if you're lying to yourself, you're lying to yourself. (laughs) And you're not going to, you don't just share this with anybody else. You just want to look at those numbers. And if you're rating yourself anywhere from about a one to a five on any of those numbers, that would be the lowest. That would be a very high concern for me. That would be, we would want immediate action towards your subconscious because Here's my question for you is, are all the thoughts that come into our mind true? Yes or no? They're not all true, right? So some of those could be limiting beliefs. Now, if we are operating in limiting beliefs with our mindset is in a one to five, this is usually where I find my teenagers are cutters. I've got suicidal thoughts, drug addicts, alcoholics, sex addicts. That's a list that goes on in my, in my one to five. So if you're not doing those things in your one to five, well then consider yourself to be a very strong soul that you've been having to fight against those. But usually depression or anxiety medication uh, can be probably looking down your, your pipeline here soon. Hey, you radiant soul. About every year, I do this amazing radiant retreat that I would love to see you there. So if there's something that's calling for your radiant self to shine through, down below there is a link that you can register and learn more about the retreat. I would love to see you there, meet you in person, and be able to feel that alignment together. So then the next one is like, okay, Danita, maybe I didn't have any ones or fives. Maybe mine are in the fives or sevens. That would be that there's going to be some subconscious, some conscious limiting beliefs that are still affecting you in your life and why you feel like you're putting so much effort into things and yet you still can't seem to reach the goal. It's not until you're able to separate anything that's come into your life that has been basically absorbed by you 
from whether it was our parents, our teachers, our peers, whatever those are, that you can completely disconnect yourself, stand into your truth, and which is your unstoppable version alignment of yourself. And that is where things can just come with more ease. You will naturally just not second guess yourself. You'll naturally feel back into that flow. You'll naturally feel that harmony with internally of yourself, and that'll be a reflection on your external life. So going back to, let's say, this fitness, this, this gal that came to me, she goes, this other version of me that's saying, just do it, but the other version of me is not in the mood. Well, no matter how much diet and workouts I give her, that's just going to be even more overwhelmed. This not in the mood is still going to be the one that's going to affect everything. And so when we were able to dive into that and find out where that really was rooted in, is when she was able to set herself free from that. And you know what it's like sitting on the other side of somebody that is able to be set free? They, this is what they say. All, I can just literally tell you word for word every, every time it happens. It's like I have a weight lifted off of my shoulders and I can finally breathe again. I feel lighter. I feel stronger. And you know it's like I feel unstoppable. Okay. So now when you have that version of you, are you think you have that thing of not in the mood? It doesn't exist anymore. So now with all the equipment and all the things that you've purchased and all the things that you've done in your life, now you're in this place of alignment. I can't tell you how much fun it has been working within the nervous system, understanding our reticular activating system, understanding that we are programming ourselves, understanding our neurological pathways, that we can connect new neurons no matter what age you are, that I truly believe that change is three things. There needs to be a willingness, there needs to be a positive environment, and there needs to be tools. Everybody can change. I'm a firm believer. I don't care how rock bottom you get in life. As long as you have those three things, it is so possible for people to change. But often what they're missing is the thing that is against themselves. It's not the external tool usually. They already have that. It's usually going to be that deep subconscious where that motivation, consistency, habits are housed. Because that's 95% of us. So befriending that version of us, there's just no words. It's just so powerful when you can step into that alignment. And if you've been there, then you know what I'm talking about. If you've never been there, well, then that's, that's exciting. Sometimes it is the first time I've actually taken people to their truth. And whew, that's a pretty cool special experiment and uh uh, sessions to do with those individuals. Um, so my assignment today, I want for you, if you did the assignment of, of a one to 10 scale and looking back at those numbers, you know, I had this quote the other day, um, that really spoke to me. I'm going to pull it up for you. And, uh, and then you're going to, you're going to do with whatever you want with it. But this is what I liked. It says the character you have spent your life forming will be called upon one day. For some of you, that time is in the future, a point unknown that will test the essence of who you are. And for some of you, that moment is today. And I want you to know that you can rise to that moment. When I read that, I knew that was speaking to me. So I will share with you um, my story about the evolution and where I've been on on my next podcast, so stay tuned. But um, today, just wanted to share with you just checking in on those beliefs. That is a first step to really looking at where your motivation really lies and if we have any limiting beliefs that we need to clear out so we can let you step into your unstoppable version of yourself. Lots of love.
The character you have developed will eventually be put into action to become the essence of who you really are. And for some of you, that moment is in the future, and for others, that moment is today. You can rise to that moment, and I have a free masterclass that's going to show you the five steps to the Align Method that's going to walk you through stuck, anxiety, and stress over into your full alignment, your potential, and full freedom. It's a wonderful masterclass. I'm excited for you to be a part of it. Go ahead and click the link down below to get to learn more.